In this lesson, you will learn some scenarios where you might want to refactor the graph to create intermediate nodes. You sometimes find cases where you need to connect more data to a relationship that can be fully captured in the properties. In other words, you want a relationship that connects more than two nodes. Mathematics allows this with the concept of hyperedge. This is impossible in Neo4j, but a solution is to create intermediate nodes. You create intermediate nodes when you need to connect more than two nodes in a single context, also known as a hyperedge, relate something to a relationship, or share data in the graph between entities. These three use cases are used to make the graph's relationships more meaningful and shareable between nodes. Here's an example instance model. Here we have the worked at hyperedge that has the from and to properties, but we need to associate the role with this period of work. In Neo4j, there is no way to create a relationship that connects a relationship to a third node. Neo4j relationships can only connect two nodes. The solution is to replace the hyperedge with a connection point node. Since nodes are connection points, you can simply create a node in the middle of the hyperedge. In this example, we replace the worked at hyperedge with an employment intermediate node. This provides a connection point that allows us to connect any amount of information to Mary's term of employment at Acme. In addition, person nodes can have a shared role or company and allow us to easily trace either the full details of a single person's career or the overlap between different individuals. In many cases, relationships can share data which enables your graph to contain less duplicate data. Here is what the graph looks like before we refactor it. Intermediate nodes also allow you to deduplicate information. We mentioned a similar principle when we discussed fanout, where splitting a property onto its own node allows you to reference it via a relationship instead of a repeated property. In this case, the email intermediate node spares us from having to repeat the email content on every single relationship. Here's our current instance model for the movie graph we have been working with. In looking at the data, we see that if we were able to perform further analysis of the roles property of the acted in relationships, we would be able to answer questions about how the same role is used in multiple movies. Furthermore, we might want to analyze how different roles interact with each other, even across different movies. In the next challenge, you will refactor the graph to create role nodes. This completes our look at some scenarios where you might want to refactor the graph to create intermediate nodes.